Warning! This film contains footage that may not be suitable for whiny teeny boppers and crazy middle-aged moms. Viewer discretion is advised. Bitches! Hey, my name is Aaron of 1A, and it's been a while. I'm sorry for my absence, but I've been busy with something called real life. You should try it sometime, it's pretty healthy for you. Anyway, all of you wanted it, all of you demanded it. You wanted to see a list of 12 things you hated about Twilight, so here we go. Here's the 12 fuck yous of Twilight. Fuck you, number one. What did Twilight do to these badass killer vampires that we all know? Instead, we have these vampires that look like they stole stolen makeup from their mom's closet. The makeup is just ridiculous and I can't stand looking at them. I mean, their lipstick is bigger than Nikki Cox's lip injections. I mean, how the hell are they supposed to be intimidating creatures if they look like drag queens who slept with gay emo kids? And what, did someone throw a cake in their face or something? All I know is that Dracula would be rolling in his coffin right now if he saw this fucking bullshit. Fuck you, number two. Sparkling. Vampires. What the fuck is this bullshit? Fuck you, number three. Even after at least three Twilight movies, no. Your Twilight movies still suck. Even with more action, it's still the teeny bopper movie with vampires doing it for the hell of it! Exactly. So to all of you obsessed teeny boppers and middle-aged moms, don't be mad. I mean, don't cry over the fact that you can never have a boyfriend or husband that looks like them, and you made the wrong choice with your lover, and you have to live with it the rest of your life. Because we're just speaking the truth. Fuck you, number four. This movie is fucking cheesy. It's like the gothic version of High School Musical, except with less singing and more gay people. Fuck you, number five. Grown men who go and see Twilight willingly without being dragged into it. I mean, what the fuck is this bullshit? Fuck you, number six. These 40-year-old Twilight moms screaming for 17-year-old boys in Twilight. Now, you know what's wrong with this picture? If these were 40-year-old men screaming for 17-year-old girls, then there'd be a real fucking problem, wouldn't there? Hey, look at this stupid Chinese guy. He always goes around flicking out the camera. Do you know which way he went? Yeah, he went that way. I'm tired of all these people going, Team Edward, Team Jacob, Team... Shut the fuck up! Fuck you, number eight. I'll sum up the Twilight love story for you. It's a love story between bestiality or necrophilia. I mean, what the fuck is this bullshit? Bella is a fucking skank. Hey guys, wanna see some magic? Too bad, fuck you, number nine. Chuck Norris is still more manly. Fuck you, number 10. Where the hell is Buffy the Vampire Slayer when you need her? Hey fellas, wanna see some magic? All right, hands are empty, right? Hands are empty, right, but watch as I make the chopstick appear. That's right, fuck you, number 11. I don't wanna see some wannabe vampires and werewolves fight like pedophiles over some young girl. I mean, give me fucking Underworld, damn it. are horrible. The only reason why people watch it is because the actors look good. And if the actors didn't look good, then this movie would be fucking more terrible than it is now. Seriously, the good looking actors is the only reason why this movie does good in the box office. And even if the actors do look good to some people, and those actors do get more girls than most of us guys do, you know what? They still look like fucking faggots in that makeup. So this concludes my 12 fuckies of Twilight. Now to be fair, a lot of people say the books are a lot better than the movies, but if the movies are this terrible, I doubt the books are much better. I have little hope for them, I'm sorry. But if you agree, give me a thumbs up and post your opinion below and argue with each other. And don't forget to show this to your friends. Spread the truth. Anyway, my name is Aaron of the 1A and that's all I gotta say about that.